Hey guys, Steven here. Um, this is weekly update number 14. And this is my slash. Two wheel drive was roller when I got it. I decided I wanted to go for a bash. My dad wanted to go to some jumps over by my house. And I didn't have a car to run, so I just hurried up, took the electronics out of my T4, and threw them in here. So I have the SV3, or the SCT, not the SV3. It's the same thing, just not waterproof. Um, yeah, my wheels are all tweaked because I completely bent the shock shafts in a 90 degree angle. It's a pretty good bash. I really am kind of upset that I didn't bring my camera. Although I don't have a head mount or anything for it. I would need like a GoPro or something. Um, so everything's dyed black as you can see. Uh, I didn't do the build series just because I started doing it, recorded everything, and I'm one of those people who just want to, I have a little bit of a pride issue and I think I can do it all without looking at anything, just from memory. And I ended up having a lot of problems with the bell cranks, which I had flipped upside down. So it was, I was having problems with steering, I was getting pissed, so I just went ahead and I, ha I had it all edited and I was watching I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty angry, so I don't really want to give that, put that on my channel, because I was not happy at all and I don't have any way of bleeping out things, because I know there's probably some younger guys that watch this and I don't want to be that guy that parents are like, oh no, you can't watch that. I know most kids are doesn't really give a crap but uh whatever I just don't want to give that mark on my channel but um got the pro line not the trenchers but the badlands on here on a scale rims the dying did not go well on the rims at all this just didn't want to take to it and all this white right here is glue from the guy that glued the tires messy I didn't you can't see it when they're white but when you dye them yeah they sure don't look too good especially this one this one started rubbing off actually when it was drying so this one is probably the <laughs> looks the best out of them probably just end up painting them black um i'm running my chevy my black chevy body that was on my sc10 that i had um just for now just because i want to go do a little run but runs great lots of fun actually me and my dad for me and my dad were having competition on the jumps, seeing who could do the best. He had a he did better with his slash four by four. Um so guys, that's it on the slash. I'm sorry for not doing a build series, just I didn't wanna make my channel look bad and sorry for it's all dirty. I was gonna clean it beforehand but it just got kinda late and my air compressor is really loud. So that's what I do most of the time. I blow it off and then I take a uh, like a cleaning, a uh, damp rag to it to get the rest of that in toothbrush, but I just didn't have time tonight. I just wanted to get this video out. It's already three days late, so. Um, yeah, guys, that's my slash two wheel drive, and I came up with a name for it Dragon, like Dragon, dragon but with a long A. Uh, I don't know, it's just when I get my. Uh, mine stuck on something. I was thinking about this for hours and I just thought it was kind of a cool name. Uh, theme color, I'm not 100% sure at this point. I knew I said it was going to be black, silver, and red, but I don't know, guys. Uh, give me some import. It's just, it's a little bit harder to find red parts that for these RCs than, say, green, blue, or even black. But I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think uh, it should be. What theme colors? Red, green, blue so on and so forth not doing pink or, or purple on this RC I won't do ever do a pink one I may do a purple one at some point but not on this one okay guys that's it for Dragon and now on to my B4.1 uh, I was just well, I was going into it and I thought I destroyed the dry shaft but it ends up that the piece of metal that came out were these two little pins like tore off 
so that was the issue with the drive shaft or the CVD I mean uh, other than that though guys I'm just I'm just saying I want to run the stock class not mod uh, it's just not it's too live a buggy I was running my uh, I ran my dad's SCT in it a little at the track and going down the straight it just wanted to pit it just was here put it down on the paper it was just going it was more like this just getting up a, just enough to where you can't it's not like wheeling it's still staying on the ground but it's just enough to where servos not it's just floating enough to where the servo is not really doing anything it just I mean going around turn instead of going like that it's going way wide and smacking into things and just annoying so I'm gonna save up and put a 17.5 system in here I don't know if I'm gonna save it for a Tekin or just go some cheaper like a uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the Speed Passion motor in ESC. Is Brian run has two of them, 13.5 and 17.5. I'm gonna, he's, I'm waiting for him to go to the track and kind of get a rundown on see how it runs. He has the Team Durango, which it comes with those, but I don't know. It looks, it's for a hundred bucks. It seems like a fairly good deal. Look kind of weird, they bent like that. Okay, guys. That's it for my B4, and I'm still trying to think of a name for it. You guys have sent in some pretty good ones, but not any of that quite, I don't know, stick. That have really stuck in my head, like, oh, that's an awesome name. I mean, I've heard some good ones. Um, Bolt, I think, was one. A few other ones, I'm just... It's going to be blue, yellow, and white. So, if you guys think of anything, I'm just waiting for one to really stick in my head. So... That's it for the B4. Okay, but now on to the T4. This guy, as most of you know, is my baby. I really, I love this car. On the track, it handles amazing, but I'm not going to go too much into that because you guys all saw that. And uh, I've already explained all that. And if you haven't seen, don't know what I'm talking about, go to my previous video, the um, uh, after race update or after track update uh, number one. It's just explain what everything that happened on the track me getting my slash these tires and just how everything did went at the track everything that happened no electronics in it once again barren except for the sat box in there i'm just gonna be i'm just waiting to get the cvds it's not much money but uh yeah it's just i just not as much fun or i don't i'm afraid to break it because i want to save this truck for the track same with my b4 so that's what the slash is for it's for messing around with and as soon as I get the CVDs, I'll be back at the track, and the slash will be back to roller. Tell me what, uh, do you think I should keep this mod class? Because I really like the SCT in it. It runs good. Uh, or should I just uh, put a 13.5 in it? Actually, never mind. I'm going to stay with the SCT. I just bought it, and I really like it, so. Um, pretty much it, guys. Tell me, would you like to see race videos I know we had a couple, but it's kind of hard with one person, but I'm hopefully getting a GoPro here pretty soon, so I can always get the head mount and kind of do that, or I can even get a new body and with a clear windshield, maybe have it sticking in there, I think that'd be pretty cool if I can mount, put a mount like on the servo right here so it's sticking up and looking through the windshield, I think, no, nah, it's a little too far forward, but I'd always mount it like on the battery strap even, um, it's around here somewhere, uh, that's the one thing that's not in there. So guys, um, yeah, that's all for my T4. Oh, and yeah, I haven't found a name that really stuck with this one either. This one, um, what theme do you think I should do on this RC, guys? I know I have blue, but I'm going to be getting rid of the RPM arms just because they're a little flexible for the track, and you want more rigid, so I'm going to just go back to, the, I'm going to get pick up some T4.2 arms for it. And, uh, Shock, shock springs coming off in the back. Uh, I can always get buy a black RPM bumper, which I probably will just because it looks cleaner. But what thing, theme do you think I should do and what name? Uh, guys, that's it for my T4. Hey guys, I had a someone PM me, I'm not going to say a name, but um, asking about donations and why I don't accept them. Well, the thing, I, I would accept them, I just haven't had anyone... I don't want to be that guy that asks for donation. I feel that feel. I think that's a little rude, but 
guys, if you ever want to donate anything, not asking you to, not, I don't, I could care less, I mean, not, I take that back, okay, that sounded bad, um, I would take donations, I just don't want to be the guy who's, uh, can someone donate me, blah, 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 heart, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. So, if you guys ever want to don donate something to me, just personal message or email me at rcevolution100 at gmail.com, and I can get all that info to you. And, obviously I'll do a video and shout out and stuff. But, guys, uh, another person, I've had a couple people asking me what my next RC would be, and at the moment, guys, I really don't... I don't say I don't want another RC, but I just, I'm happy with RCs I have, and I'd kind of like to update them. But as I go along with this, with this, with uh, Dragon upgrading him, the slash two wheel drive uh, to RPM parts like uh, bulkhead and just shock, shock towers and all that stuff, I'll probably end up start building a Rustler two wheel drive, which I think I've I had one, and I it's just they're a lot of fun, so. I'll be doing a build series for that, kind of built from scrap parts, kind of like what uh, Dark Whip at Heart did with his Bandit, his slash two-wheel drive, uh, his, no, not Stampede, and what he's doing with his slash four-wheel drive right now, that's pretty much what I do, um, it's a little build series on that, and that's pretty much it, guys, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover, and uh, congrats to Too Quick For You 104 for hitting 107 miles an hour uh... keep up the good work man and guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe i know i gave you guys a send off and everything and i thought i was done but as i was sitting here getting ready to start editing uh... i got an envelope it's from too quick for you 104 there you go you can see that um, i won his sticker giveaway i scratched everything out so you guys can't read that I can't read it from the camera, so I'm guessing I did a good enough job. Um, I won his 500 subscriber, I believe, sticker giveaway. Um, guys, go check him out. It's funny because I just gave him a little congrats for his 107 mile an hour with his Ofna. And I have opened it, but I have not looked inside. I figured I'd let you guys see what stickers I picked out and what are the ones he threw in there. I'm kind of curious to see. Uh, so. Yes. Yep. No more inside. Thank you very much, man. These things got here pretty quick. Um, protoform stickers. Traxes, I asked for these. And I also asked for Team Associate one right here. And then he threw in the Proform, a ProTech RC. Very nice. Race Tech, uh, an Ofna, I'm guessing came with his uh, Ofna that he just did, and a Sheet Metal Workers Union, Local 104, California. Wait, you're in California? For some reason I thought you were in Canada. Um, okay, well, too quick for you, 104, John. Uh, can you confirm or deny that you're in California, because... For some reason I thought you were in Canada. Huh. I'll have to look look at the address that it came on. I didn't I just scribbled it out real quick. Um and probably I can see through it if I look hard enough, but yeah guys, these are all the stickers I got. I'll be definitely using all of these. Probably most of them will be going on my toolbox. Except for probably a couple tracks that I'll use on a, the body I'm getting for my uh Slash or Dragon. Well, thanks a lot, man, and guys, I'll see you. Later.